I'm calling on all pi miners around the world to watch this video. Alright, in this video, I review every uh, new details or new updates on the Pi network. As you can see here in my screen, it says mainnet roadmap and we're checklist. So let's first of all check my checklist for Pi network. Alright, so here it says mainnet transfer essentials. Please follow these steps to prepare for the transfer of your Pi mobile balance to the mainnet. First, you download Pi browser app. I've done this. And you create a Pi wallet. I've done this. And you decide how much Pi you want to lock up. And submit your KYC application. This is coming soon. And wait for KYC results. And invite your team to complete KYC to transfer more Pi. So for this number six, it is practically a must if you want to earn all your pies, all your mind pies, if you want to transfer all your mind pies, if you want to claim all of them, you must invite your team to verify for KYC. You know, the Pi Network was organized in such a way that when you invite when you invite people and they are mining, your own mining um, speed increases. This means you'll be earning more Pi while your friends who you invited are mining too so if you want to claim those pi that you accumulated because your friends are mining you have to invite them for kyc more on this letter on another video now let's check their updated roadmap let's see this all right there is a warning or maybe a notification on top of this this says below is the new draft of the roadmap chapter of our white paper it reviews the first two phases of the network, the beta and testnet, and introduces the main net phase in more detail. Your feedback is welcome before we update the official white paper on our website when open network begins. Keep in mind that we are also working on new drafts of other white paper chapters to be released soon. All right. In this video, I want to simplify all the, all the uh, jargons or all the um, big grammars in this roadmap. I want to simplify it so that anyone can easily understand it. So I plead that you stay till this video ends, all right? Just stay till this video ends. There is a lot of things to learn. And this is going to help you to know what to expect and what not to expect, okay? So in the roadmap, they said Pi Network is unique in our technological and ecosystem design there are three main um there are three main phases to our development the beta the test net and the main net now let's dive into the um the first phase which is the beta phase they said in december 2018 we publicly launched our mobile app on the ios app store as an alpha prototype that onboarded the initial pioneers and on march 14 2019 the pi day we published our original pi white paper during the beta phase the pi network mobile app was listed and accessible through the ios app app store and google play store then secondly the pi network grew from zero to over 3.5 million engaged pioneers and thirdly the pi network community actively engaged with the project through the app home screen interactions and chat app and the fourth achievement is that pi network reached 233 countries and regions around the world then the phase two of the test net started on march 14 2020 and this is they, they achieved a lot of things during this phase here are some of their achievements they said many versions of the node software were released the pi platform was released along with key ingredients of our ecosystem infrastructure the wallets browser brainstorm and developer tools and pilot version of the kyc app was introduced on the pi browser the project ran its first ever worldwide online hackathon with thousands of participants from within the pioneer 
community. And the Pi Network grew to over 30 million engaged pioneers and from zero to over 10,000 fully functional community nodes and over 100,000 daily active nodes on the waiting list. And finally, Pi Network reached almost all countries and regions in the world. These are their main achievements during the second phase of the testnet. All right, during the second phase of the testnet. Now, the third phase, which is called the mainnet. This, this uh, mainnet started in December 2021. And in this December 2021, the Pi mainnet, uh, uh, the mainnet of the Pi blockchain will go live. By mainnet, what they mean by mainnet is that um, the functional blockchain will go live. That is what they mean by mainnet. Testnet is the blockchain where they tested every of their function, all the functionalities. They tested everything there. But the mainnet will have to do with your mind pies. Okay? Uh, while the testnet deal with, should I call it fake pies? But mainnet deals with your mind pie, your main pie in your mining app. So, here they mentioned that the mainnet is going to have, the phase three is going to be divided into two. First, it's going to be a firewalled mainnet or closed network. And second, it's going to be an open network. So, for this enclosed network, the period will be from December 2021. And this is going to run throughout the time the um, all pi miners do their KYC. It's going to run for a very long time until all miners has done their KYC. Now, here is the advantages of the two period. One, they said there are multiple advantages to having an intermediate enclosed period to ramp up to the fully open mainnet. This approach allows time for millions of pioneers worldwide to pass KYC. And it's gonna allow them time to build and deploy more Pi apps and allow more utilities to be created and used. So what, what does this uh, enclosed network mean? All right, this enclosed network means that during this period, you cannot use Pi on other blockchain. Pi cannot be integrated with other blockchain. It means that you can only use Pi to buy goods and services within the Pi network. I don't know if you understand this. It simply means that you can only use Pi. Okay, let's, this is where they explained it. Restrictions in the enclosed network. There will be no connectivity between Pi and other blockchains or crypto exchanges. I don't know if you recall any blockchain. We have BSC blockchain, we have Ethereum blockchain, we have Bitcoin blockchain, and so many other blockchain. So this means that during the enclosed uh, mainnet, you cannot connect Pi to other blockchain. It means that Pi cannot be accessed through other apps or through other wallets except the Pi wallet and the Pi apps and the Pi browser. So the mainnet blockchain will be accessible to any computer on the internet, but only through a firewall to enforce the above rules. There will only be called team nodes on the mainnet to ensure that the firewall is in place at all times. So um, during this stage, you don't expect uh binance to list pi no it's not gonna happen and you don't expect pi to be listed on pancake swap or maybe on uh, uniswap or all those exchanges no it's not gonna happen pi can only be used within pi network within pi apps within pi browsers and all that so during this stage during the uh, enclosed network you can exchange Pi for goods and services through Pi apps. You can transfer Pi between pioneers for goods and services. 
so these ones are prohibited during this uh first stage of mainnet they said exchange of pi for fiat currency is prohibited look ahead the following uses will be prohibited exchange of pi uh, exchange of pi for fiat currency exchange of pi for other currencies and transfer of pi for a future promise of fiat or other currencies so all these things will not work during the first stage of the mainnet or the enclosed period of the mainnet now the open network period depending on the maturity of the enclosed network economy and the progress of the kyc this period may begin on pi day march 14 2022 or pi day 2 uh, june 28 2022 or later so do not expect uh, pi to be listed on any exchange maybe binance maybe uh, any decentralized exchange or centralized exchange do not be do not expect pi to be listed on any of those exchanges anytime uh, before march 14 2022 it's never going to happen anytime before march 22 march 14 2022 so you can expect this to happen after march 14 or on march 14 2022 or maybe June 28, 2022, or later. All right. So, um, I'm 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 trying to sound this. Uh, I'm trying to make this more significant so that you don't get scammed. I'm, I know that a lot of scammers are already willing or already out to dupe a lot of people, uh, uns unsuspecting victims. So this is one of the reasons I said. You may have to share this video with your friends, share it with your families, share it with your or with all your friends that are mining pies. Let them be aware of this, so they don't get scammed by investing in random projects or random uh, things they see online claiming to be the real pie network. So pie network cannot be listed on any exchange until March 14 or maybe June 28th. So what determines um, when they are going to list it on exchanges, it depends on the maturity of the enclosed network. That is how many people who, who, who was able to do their KYC and all that. That's what's going to determine it. So once uh, the, the open network period starts, this means that um, you can now expect pies to to be connected, to start allowing connection from other networks, other wallets, and anyone who wants to connect to payment nets can do so. And you can now run your own nodes, on your own Pi nodes and all that. So please take these things to mind. Take these things to mind, all right? So if you like this information that I just shared with you or how I simplified all these things for you, please give this video a thumb up then share it with your friends you are mining uh downlines and all that share it with everyone you can see okay share it with everyone then don't forget to subscribe to this channel because i post almost every day notifying you of the latest information in the crypto space and in the financial world all right i'm really glad that you are able to watch this video till this end. Have a nice day.